That's Look so at me long. go! I'm like a normal human. I'm regular, and I felt that's well rested. That's a different thing. Being regular? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess we let that one go. I shit the bed no, on, ske- <laughs> on, <laughs> on schedule. <laughs> I can poop now. <laughs> Now the time for the PJC cast. Where oh. Grandma, sweetie, get your shoes on. <laughs> We're also called the Proud Jacuzzi Crew. We do Would You Rather's and other fun things. My name is Dane. My name is Brian. I'm Jimmy. And, uh... Yeah, we're doing another little quick dip for you this week, uh, where we're just going to do one would you rather and one little fun thing. And then another fun thing and after. Then, and then a mystery it's, segment. Ooh, It's all fun. It's all fun. None of it for, isn't fun. Except for that one thing. Let's let's be clear. Except for the, the, the uncensored racism. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> That's not fun. That's not fun for anyone. That's you, not even fun for us. You kid, but there was that one time. <laughs> no, there <laughs> wasn't. The incident. Oh my God, sure, guys. Sure there wasn't, Dane. Sure there wasn't. Audience, please. <laughs> <laughs> Let me assure you, there was no unbridled racism in this tub. Um, it was bridled. <laughs> it, was bridled. <laughs> it was bridled racism. Okay, I'd really like Look, to stop talking about racism. We're now. not animals. We bridle our racism, <laughs> like we bridle our animals. <laughs> we ride them. <laughs> we do. Can we talk about racism some more? No. Let's uh, let's get into it. Let's talk about racism. Let's really just explore the space. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> explore the spacism. <laughs> you know that doesn't make any sense it's very good what's the matter dan you spacist i'm are I might you be spacist spa- i might be spacist i might be there's a war between the the spacers and the seers what is is space and water oh, oh. okay okay wait <laughs> water underwater oh the two Extremes. unknown frontiers <laughs> The deep underwaters. Yeah. Where the pressure. The pressure gets to you. Pressure is mounting. I really liked uh, that that movie, The Abyss. It was good. It was the first movie, the first like grown up scary movie that I was like, I'm going to watch this because it looks good. And I did. That was James Cameron. That was. Cameron. He made um, a water, a water monster. I remember liking the abyss. Yeah, it was good. It was. It was. I realized it was more suspense than anything, and that I was a wimp about suspense <laughs> than actual scary things. You know, it was kind of a dumb moment. Hmm. Spoilers for the abyss, by the way. Right. Uh, the scene where like um, there's like some like some pressure incident has happened, and like the pressure doors are closing, and um, he's like just barely like shoves his hand in the door and he's wearing his wedding ring though thankfully right. and that stops the door the the gold, gold highly malleable wedding ring stops the underwater gauge pressure door <laughs> well they did have that one throwaway line where he's like my ring is just plated with gold it's pure titanium <laughs> <laughs> thank god we got these matching adamantium wedding rings <laughs> the strongest metal known Unobtainium <laughs> foreshadowing for King James Cameron's later film. Uh, Thank God we got these people. nice wedding rings from that that nice blue space alien <laughs> who was here that one time. Remember that time, dear? Can we, can we just think about? I'm sh- this is old hat at this point. I'm sure. I'm sure. But James Cameron, master filmmaker, <laughs> he's made sure. so many. Very films with very good films without stupid nonsense in them per se. Yeah. Then he makes the Avatar, uh, yeah, the last blue bender, <laughs> and he decides to name it Unobtainium. Uh huh. God. And it's just you like, can't get it, guys. And at what point 
Did nobody like stop him? They're like, hey, 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 J- Jamesy, buddy. Excuse me, uh, Mister James Cameron. Uh, that thing that you wanted to that, do. That name is really, really dumb. It's really stupid and on the nose. And if anyone is like, oh, I get it, then they're stupid too. I I've said this uh, before about people like Ridley Scott when he made um, Prometheus. Is that big, big director folks who are very, very popular, uh, who make movies later on, are cursed with yes men all around them, I think. And so, mm. like, George Lucas. George with Lucas, the, prime example. Yeah, where mm. nobody was like, uh, George! <laughs> oh. <laughs> because everyone's just like, oh, of course, Golden Goose men, <clears throat> tell us your your prophecies. Tell us what, what will make us the most money. And they're like, mm, yes, I think that Jar Jar Binks is the thing that will make our entire lives better. Everybody's going to love the Jar Jar. No, is it, does everybody else want another round of cocaine champagne? <laughs> Just I me? know I do. Just me? I'll have a bottle, to Geor- a bottle for Georgie. <laughs> Georgie alone. A bottle for Georgie is actually my stage play that I wrote about the writing of the prequels. And all of the spaceships will look just like dildos, and they will be dildos. Functional dildos <laughs> that will sell. For giant for giant aliens. Jar Jar will use one. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for that hard R. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's another decision I made. You can't Star spell Wars. Star Wars without an R. <laughs> hey, we're going in a different direction, guys. Speaking of R, there'll be pirates, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not even space pirates. Regular pirates. Just regular seafaring pirates. <laughs> we'll and, the, with- and the actors will have syphilis, just like pirates did. I, I strive for authenticity in all things. <laughs> Especially my Jar Jars. Says George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Sand is so irritating. <laughs> anyway, let's do a Would You Rather. Okay. Sounds good. Um, right. Keeping up with our festival of Reddit, uh, we're <laughs> going to use a Would You Reddit from user abob71. Abob. Abob71 A-bob. asks, Would you rather have to say... Oh no, not again. Whenever you go to the bathroom <laughs> or have to wiggle your eyebrows suggestively when you speak to a member of the opposite sex. Oh, uh, uh how much? No. <laughs> like the whole time? <laughs> no, but just about that much. That was a lot. <laughs> I'd say a good 3 seconds. That, no. One, <laughs> you just did like two, a 10 second three. fucking <laughs> Like, like enough to get the point across. Yeah, to get them real hey, skeeved a, out. You're a late dude. Like, enough until they leave. Now, can you say the, oh, no, not again, like, real under your breath? Like, oh, no, not again. Or do you have to announce it? <laughs> oh, no, not again. I think, like, enough uh, a, as if, like, a camera were on you, uh, <laughs> it would pick it up. Like as if this were like an aside, right? I don't know. Yeah, Ugh. like an as- a side moment in a in a film. I can see it passing it off as a joke, like "Oh no, not again!" <laughs> I'm not afraid of poopies. So certainly, they're, or, they're afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet eventually you just get tired of it, and you just be like, "Oh no, not again!" Yeah. And then just have to. Get up and everyone's just like, okay, fine. Poops. Why did it have to be poops? <laughs> I feel like I would want to just always use a stall for either or if I was going to have to fucking say something. Yeah. My poops belong in a museum. <laughs> what? <laughs> so do you, Dr. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> do you expect me to poop, Goldfinger? <laughs> no, I expect you to poop. Wait. 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 It's the same. <laughs> it's very samey. Um, I mean, I feel like like one of these makes you a predator, and the other makes you kind of <laughs> vaguely gross. You choose which one's which. Yeah, I f- I feel like I'm I'm. <laughs> yeah. What, Spoilers. What, well, because what if I'm like you just say you're a big creeperzoid, and everyone's yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? And the other one's, like, maybe you're in a bathroom by yourself. Maybe you wait until yeah. the coast is clear <laughs> before you fucking 
yodel out that quote. <laughs> oh, no, not again. <laughs> That's what it... Whenever you go to the bathroom... So I, I don't think it's like... You, oh, you're thinking like while it's happening, you're saying, oh, oh just, no, but not you again. You can't do it. You can't release until you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, what do you want? <laughs> See, I, I thought to, of it as. Time to release. <laughs> I thought of it as like that moment where you get up to go. Like where you're doing whatever it is you're doing, and then you realize that you have to go to the bathroom. So as you're like making your way there. That first, within that first movement, you say, oh no, not again. That's what I imagine, See, so when, that when you're you, amongst people. When you say go to the bathroom, yeah, like, peeing or pooping is going to the bathroom. Right. For me. Right, right, right. Not, not the act of getting up and leaving to go to the restroom. Gotcha. But, similar, you know, the same thing, like you're in a, a row of urinals. Yeah. I oh, never no. use the urinal, though. You never use the urinal. I can't. I can't use urinals. I have to use a, a closed room. I can only poop in them. <laughs> yeah. Good on you. Good. I mean, you're dedicated. Wait, is Dana shy boy? I am. I am a, oh, a public pee shy boy. Me too. Yeah. I'll I'll use a urinal if I'm in a big fucking hurry and there's nobody else there. <laughs> I might. Man, I used to be that way. I don't know what happened. You just... Mm. I just got, got over, over it, it and yeah. now I'll also fucking <sighs> shit in a big room. I'll shit where someone just shit. <laughs> shit shitting, I can do in a yeah, public Yeah, I can do that pretty now. much anyway. I'm okay. Maybe this is why we get along, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is the secret to our, our success. Is that we're both shy peers. This is why... <laughs> This is why we have such good chemistry. We've got that shy pisser chemistry. Yeah, it's it's deep but it, and subtle, but it's there. And we pick that up after each other. Astrology Indeed. is bullshit, but shy pisser chemistry is very real. That's what real <laughs> things come from. I remember the first time somebody wanted me to pee in, in like, the outdoors. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I just remembered you told me you had to... You had to take a, a, a pee test, and it took like four or oh five my tries. God, I forgot yes. about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. This all makes sense. The drug test was just the worst thing. Go back to episode number <laughs> here. Because <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I've talked about it, and I won't again. Hmm. But, um, no, just like I was out in the woods or something, and somebody's like, well, you got to go pee. Go over there. And I'm like, but... <laughs> <laughs> there in, fr in front of the camera. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I think maybe even they had to go. I was like, I was like, man, I got to pee. And they're like, oh, yeah, me too. We'll just go over there. We. Like, no. No, we. No. No, no, not we. Not to. No, thank no. you. I'd rather die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd ra I, well, I functionally can't. Like, it won't happen. Mm -hmm. So I guess I could go pretend next to you while you do it. But I'm not going to be able to, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm clamped up now. I, better, I don't have to go anymore. I, better, I do, but I don't. I'd have better, like, bending a spoon with my mind. <laughs> well, there is no spoon. So that helps. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go for the, oh no, not again. And that just becomes my thing. Mm. That's just like, great, Dane, you made the joke again. Okay, go do your thing. You say it in like a really cartoony fucking voice. Oh, oh no. no. I, yeah, wear a tie just so you can like lo loosen it like dramatically. <laughs> like, oh no, not again. <laughs> ja, 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 ja. <laughs> Exit stage left, even. Oh, no respect, no respect. Oh, no. Yeah, so that's what I would do. It's a bathroom time for me as well. Yeah? I don't want to be look like a... I'd rather look like a bathroom weirdo than a pervert. <laughs> yeah. That's what it boils down to. It kind of boils down to that. I mean, yeah, same for me. I would like I to... Mean... Yeah, have conversations with women ever again? Sure. Yeah. You know, without making them uncomfortable. It's instantly. It's not necessarily a consent thing, but it's like a a culture thing. It's a comfort thing. It's a it's comfort like thing. A, it's a yeah, not making people Cause feel they, cause, like they're in a hostile space. Cuz you you tell them like Oh, it's a. I don't have control over it. And then they're like, "No, well, that's weird because it's a you, verbal tick. <laughs> you don't. You don't do it when you're talking to your guy friends. You're like, ha, ha, that's or maybe weird. You, you have to make yourself do it. 
<laughs> it's, just, guy it's just when I'm with handsome women. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just tried wiggling my eyebrows for like a second and I already am tired. So tired. <sighs> I do it a lot, so <sighs> I, I can do it for a while. A while. I do wag- waggle my eyebrows uh, pretty consistently in a non-sexual way to just anything that happens by i can do the eyebrow wave i can do the cock of the eyebrow on one side but not the other show um, us all the, all pe- the, the people's eyebrow like the rock that's right this I had one to, i had to train myself to raise my other eyebrow like i can only raise one and then i had to work really hard to like i can't do the other out one. You, yeah. you can you just gotta work at it i've tried try more <laughs> I can do one of them like normal, and I, one of them is like yeah, like only a little bit, and it requires effort. What eyebrow tricks can you do at home? Write us to the PJCcast at gmail dot com or post on our Facebook group. Also, find us on Instagram, the PJCcast. Here's a trick: take a take a a buffalo nickel, put it right over where your unibrow would go, and leave it there, and then you'll look like a cultured person who with with money to spare then mix vinegar with baking soda and food coloring and pour it on your nickel and it looks like you're a alien man do try this trick <laughs> write all of your hopes and dreams on a piece of paper fold it up real tight and shove it right up your ass and then burn it because <laughs> that's what that's all it's worth Oh, that, was, oh, that trick was dark. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> don't don't think it doesn't, because <laughs> it do. That's a PJC promise. And I, I and I also promise I'm not waggling my eyebrows like crazy. As I'm saying it. <laughs> All our foreheads are going to be very tired by the end of this episode. <laughs> we'll have the eyebrows of a seventy year old man <laughs> and a bodybuilder. Uh, what's coming up next? Jim? Brimmy? That's me. Brimey. I'm all brimey. <laughs> what's up next? Jimmy. It's Mary Fuck Kill. Yay! Woo! Yeah! Jimmy! Woo! Mary Fuck Kill! We love you! We love you, Jimmy! Happy, we love you! Feels kind of sarcastic. Jimmy! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> marry fuck kill the segment where uh we marry one thing fuck a second thing and kill the third thing oh yeah ooh waggle eyebrows i've our waggle waggle eyebrows this week <laughs> our contestants yes contestants are uh the james bond series the uh born series jason born or the mission impossible series with i uh, get it with uh We'll just say we'll just say the newer ones. I don't know if there's. I guess the show doesn't count. Yeah, just the movies with okay. what's his bucket? What's his old man bucket? Crazy Brown. Klondike Brown. Crazy Ball. fucking Scientology man. What's Gr- his name? Gran- Grandpa Scientology. Grandpa Grilligular. Tom Cruise. His That's name's the one. Tom Cruise. He's, he's <laughs> old but and seriously terrible. He is also Jack Reacher. He's yeah. also Risky Business. Yeah. <laughs> Risky business one, two, and three. He's also cocktail. <laughs> da, 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 cocktail. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I am going to mix up some drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Take that old bottle off the shelf. I'm going to mix up this to drink for myself. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> I'm drinking alone. <laughs> Uh, mm, every night he sings that song <laughs> in his giant mansion. <laughs> Do you think Tom Cruise does the risky business dance still? I think he still does the risky business. I think he, <laughs> I think he runs a brothel out of his parents' home. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is some risky business, right? Ergo, the title of the film. Also, his parents must be really old. His parents, yeah, they've been gone from home for a while. <laughs> He's like, they'll be back. They'll be back one day. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna run this brothel out of their home, but until they come back. But when they come back, I'll stop. Dad hmm. not found. <laughs> Dad, Dad not found. <laughs> oh man, I get such a specific image when you say that. Who did we explain that to? Oh, anyone who'd listen. <laughs> We were like, well, there was smoothie, right? 
<laughs> this is how it goes. Called Richie Rich. <laughs> um, was my first PG movie I was allowed to see. Bad guys, the dude from Night Court. But uh, oh, Jason Bourne played by Hawkeye at one point. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There was the little hiccup in the series. <laughs> I thought that was like a different character. Was it a different character? I, I didn't so. see that one. Because I'm name not Damon or forever. Jason Bourne with a Y. <laughs> Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne, he's... <laughs> I'm a serial killer. I'm Justin Burns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chiropodist. Uh, James Bond, the most misogynist... Misogynist? Misogynist. Which one? What am I saying? It just occurred to me that, that James James Bond and Jason Bourne have the same initials. Huh. Whoa! Yeah. I wonder if it's a My coincidence. Or... It's never a coincidence. And then Ethan... The Ethan... Ethan... From? From. <laughs> 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 Man, that series is uh, really what? depressing. What? What? I don't get it. What is super? It's, there's nothing to get. It's just the secret agent name of <laughs> Ethan Frome. <laughs> oh, do you guys never read that book? No. Oh, it, uh, it was like it? AP English. They made us read it over the summer. It's really depressing. It's oh. a book called Ethan Frome? Yes. No. <laughs> it, it's about the title character, Ethan Frome. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, he like the, 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 it's basically a story about this guy who like marries this woman who hates him, and he falls in love with this like serving woman who like works at his house, and like they decide to commit suicide, but it doesn't work, and she they both end up like crippled, and oh now God. now he lives with his wife and the serving woman, and they both hate him. And it's just like the saddest, most <laughs> depressing book ever. Oh, by the way, spoilers. Um, yeah, it's great. But, they made us read it, <laughs> but he also has to find the the antidote to the world's deadliest virus. It's a transforming uh, carriage that they crash <laughs> and it turns into a boat and a plane and they crash it and it's supposed to kill them but it doesn't. But it doesn't. And Transformative they literature, if you will. This, this affair, should you choose to accept it, <laughs> will debilitate you permanently. Mr. Frome. This life will self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Oops! No, honestly, like, just the last name Frome for a secret agent is just so hilarious to me that I laughed very hard when you mm. said it. You gave a laugh of, I get the joke. I yeah, that's Sorry. what I was expecting. Sorry. Uh, no, I don't get jokes. Um, <laughs> but I... I mean, there's a there's a soft spot in my heart for James Bond just for nostalgia, and he was touted as the coolest by like my uncle and folks of his gen oration, and um, I like his gadgets, but he's kind of a piece of shit. Yeah, as a character, he's kind of a piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, he, I in like in a lot of cases, I, I don't find him very interesting, honestly. Right, I've I've never. I've never given a shit about the James Bond movies. Really? Like, not even, like, at all. Well, they're also, like, they're fucking long. <laughs> like, I don't have time for this. Like, I remember a long time ago, I was watching, I was over at a friend's house, and her, their dad was watching, like, a marathon of them. Yeah. Because I feel like that's who James Bond is for, is fucking old people, right? <laughs> and, like... It is very much of its generation, yes. And, and I was just, like... It's just so like the new movies are probably good. I don't know, but yeah, they're like, pretty good. I liked uh, Casino Royale as a departure, but now yeah. they're kind of back to the formula. So, uh -huh. like, I I just feel like I don't like that old timey fucking pacing that <laughs> right. movies used to have, and this is that. Yeah, you know, and I'm, there's a reason they're famous. The bad guys are cool. The bad guys are quirky and weird, uh, but. Like, I, I just don't fucking care. Right. I have a plan to blow up the world. 
<laughs> I'll blow up the world, James. <laughs> blow up the world. Listen, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to dig a big hole and, and put a bomb in it. I'm going to fill the world with air and I'll <laughs> pop it like a balloon, James. Just like a balloon. Just Nobody like a... thought of that, did they? That's why I'm Dr. Gas. <laughs> Here's my little thumbtack. <laughs> I'm getting closer to the air. <laughs> Watch you're, out, James. You're a <laughs> maniac, Dr. Gas. <laughs> yes, but it sure will be fun. A you're, gas! I, you're full of hot air. <laughs> he was the pithiest. I don't think Jason Bourne made one joke. That entire... He couldn't series. remember him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He had amnesia. Yeah, no, I get it. But is he the most fuckable? I huh. think he's pretty fuckable. He remembers that. <laughs> I think Ethan Hawk? Nope. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Ethan Hawk. What? <laughs> Ethan Hawk. It's Ethan Hawk. <laughs> Ethan Sharktocopter. <laughs> <laughs> <Sharkdicopter. laughs> no, Ethan Hawk's the actor, right? Yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, he is. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Shark the copter. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's his name. I don't know. Shark Topopus. Ethan. <laughs> Spy. Hunt. Shark Topopus. Who are you? Oh, for, for Mission Impossible. Yeah. Ethan that sounds like a spy Hunt. name. Yeah, I think it might be Ethan Hunt. Okay. So, Mr. Hunt, I think, is the middle ground between the, like, hyper, quote unquote, realistic Bourne series and the super campy of. Uh, of like antiquated James Bond series. Cuz they they got the weird gadget. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Brian. I was just going to say I only ever saw the first Mission Impossible film mm-hmm. cuz it seemed like the second one had like a totally different fucking tone. Yeah. <laughs> like the first one is like trying to be kind of like an like a sort of pensive spy film and like uh the second one is like a fucking John Woo movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, where you like the fucking the fu- slow mo doves, where like the fucking reserved spy from the first one is now wearing a leather trench coat, <laughs> he's oh. got shoulder length douche hair. Oh no, and black shades indoors. I wear my sunglasses all the time. I have an eyeball disease, <laughs> I can't take off my sunglasses, or I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll die. I'll die. Um, what about the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth Mission Impossible film? <laughs> there might be those. I wouldn't know. They're making a new one. Yeah, they're making a new one. And like, I'm sure it's gonna be shitty and bad. But like, <laughs> well, because here's the thing. I, like, my understanding. I don't think I've seen a single in, of the movies. But like, my understanding is that they're like supposed to be like, like the big budget movies. Like there's big budget action movies and then there's fucking Mission, Mission Impossible. Impossible. Right. Like which is its own tier. And maybe that's a misconception, but that's always kinda how uh I was You've led processed to believe. it. And this this movie, this new one feels like no exception. Right. Like just from the trailer. Like it's a it's a fucking good trailer. Even the if the tra- movie's gonna be weird. In the trailer, they take every means of conveyance. They're on a boat, they're on a train, they're on a car, they're on a plane. He's on the bottom of a helicopter. He's on the top of a helicopter. He falls on the down a lot in that one, which he I does. can believe because he's very fucking old. <laughs> he's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Got to do all his own stunts. I feel like, like falling while walking. <laughs> <laughs> I tripped. <laughs> I, I tripped. I'm, I'm very old. I love I love that idea. Like you're a fucking super secret agent spy and you're you've tr- honed your body for your entire life and you're chasing the perp and you just fucking trip (laughs) you trip on a fucking rock that's called get smart you just described get smart guess what is that it's a it's a movie what happened well it was a tv series first tv series is that like is that like that scene in that j-lo movie where the guy falls down the stairs and shoots himself in the head no what kind of maybe do you know what i'm talking about it's like some... F- oh, The Wedding Planner? Are yeah, I love that scene in The Wedding Planner. About, are you talking... It was, is that out of sight? Maybe. I don't know. Geely. I think it's Geely. <laughs> uh, fucking Geely. It might have been out of... I don't remember. I it was learned like- recently that they're all assassins. Yeah. <laughs> Geely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me that. That's yeah. Brian told me that. Not, oh, yeah. On the podcast. It's yeah. not an enriching thing to know. <laughs> I feel enriched. Or like uranium that. or flour. <laughs>
<laughs> but <laughs> but um, I think I would marry uh, Jason Bourne's Bourne I supremacy. Good. Because the the he wants to change his life and he does every one every movie he changes his life to goodness and then he gets sucked back in. Yeah, now remember the question is not the not the stars but the series. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay. And in the series that's what he does. Now remember. <laughs> <laughs> every one in the series he, he disappears and he disavows the life and then he comes back. It's like just one last time. Just one last or they like strong arm him into it. So and then he's like I'll let you strong arm you one, one last one last time. time. <laughs> Uh, so I, I think I would marry that series. Um, and then I think I would fuck James Bond because he's so good at fucking. He just fucks everything and everyone. And I, I feel like in this day and age, he would... If, if James Bond was real, he'd definitely be bisexual at this point. Because that would make him a better agent. Wait, hold on. Or, or he might. I mean, he might be like shitty and conservative and. You know, no. Like, hold on. I, what is this? What is this assumption that I've had so much sex with women? I gotta see what dude fucking dick is like. <laughs> what the fuck? Kinda. What is that well, no. More, more like. Well, he's a he's a world class spy, and like in this day and age, you know, you gotta <laughs> you take swing a all bu- the- You take a bullet for this president, but will, will you take a cock? Yeah. Kinda. I think. I think. And by sed- president, you mean the queen. But yes, whatever. Same I think diff. seducing a dude and being bi are different things. <laughs> Will he do both? <laughs> At least I would hope so. I want him to. I think that would be very good of James Bond to. <laughs> it'd, be very, it'd be very good of you to be bisexual, <laughs> James. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be very, very good of you. It'd be very good. Would you be a would you be, be a, a good would you be a deer and be by for us, please? <laughs> Thank you. Would you take advantage of all genders? Um, I've given so- you I've given you uh, a, 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 a secret laser, a pen that will explode if you click it three times, and the power of bisexuality. <laughs> <laughs> and a pill that'll make you bisexual. Honestly, though, I I do think he'd have better toys than all the rest of them, though. Oh, like sexually boy. speaking, so I think I'd like go a pen with... that'll blow up <laughs> <laughs> like, in my it's, dick. This is a laser and a dildo. <laughs> it's a laser dildo. D- don't turn it on while it's inside of you. That'd be or, bad. Or do it's the most exquisite pleasure, but it'll kill you. So <laughs> you know, jump off that bridge if you need to. Um, and then I, I would kill Mission Impossible Ethan Hawke because, and the series they're in, because they're unremarkable and I don't remember them. Like I've, I've seen most of them, I think, but I hardly remember them. Uh, they're all kind of samey. I remember, uh, masks and I remember bombs and I remember each each one had to top the the previous one. And then they couldn't, so they gave up, and now we're here. And now we're at Fallout. They're like, hey, remember Fall? People like that Fallout game. Is there an option to uh, marry, fuck, or kill the Fallout games? Because I would, I would marry and fuck them. And kill the bad no, I, guys I would out of Great country, it. man. <laughs> hey, man, right, just right, do right, what you right. want to do, man. I say, hey, man. Um, did you, did I you would, finish your thoughts? I did. did okay. Yeah, I thought he did. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I'd kill James Bond. Yeah. He's a fucking sociopath. <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I don't expect, I don't know that he is good at fucking. I kind of get the feeling he's selfish in bed. That's kind of the feeling <laughs> I, can I see get. That. I can see that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd kill him. Cause like, he's a monster. Um, and I would fuck Ethan blank face. Hunt. Cause like he's he's shallow, like you said, he doesn't have a lot of a lot of depth. Um, but he's pretty, you know. And I can then I can be selfish in bed. Um, <laughs> and um, <laughs> you always become what you hate. Um, <laughs> and, what my T-shirt says right now. Yeah. And then I would marry Jason Bourne because he seems like he's got the most going on, and I like his franchise. He the has most. like empathy. Like he spares that that first guy. 
And he all, and he can't walk through a parking lot without memorizing all of the license plates on the cars. And I find that endearing. Or filling up the parking meters as he goes by so that people don't get parking tickets. That's a big part of his character, too. And he eats pigeons, which is interesting. <laughs> and curbs the pigeon population, which desperately <laughs> needs... Which is good for it's everyone. It's very good. Do you remember that part? It's full of parasites, that one. <laughs> They don't the, talk about that much, but it's true. It's riddled, riddled with worms. Oh God! It, the the time he spends between films in the hospital <laughs> just getting deloused. It's crazy. They didn't think people could get avian lice, but he does in his lungs. He does yes, they're in his... coughing wads of avian lice up. Jimmy, poor Jason Bourne. Your, uh, poor Jason Bourne. He just wants a normal life without lice, but he can't, but he can't stop can't. eating pigeons. Every time I try to get out, they, I eat more pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> They're like winging rats, you know, and you know how I love rats, regular flavor. Mm, delicious. It, it really hurt my feelings when that one doctor said it was cuckoo to <laughs> keep eating those pigeons. And it, I just felt like that I was get, a low blow. I mean, I get the joke, but please. It's, come on, you know, Doc. Slow hanging This fruit. is my life. Yeah. I can't stop eating pigeons. <laughs> I can't. My strange addiction, Jason Bourne. <laughs> <addiction. laughs> oh, what would you do, Jimmy? I think I'm copying Dan. I'm going to fuck James Bond because he, he may or may not be the best at it. He is telegraphed that he's the best at it. Placebo effect. I'll take what <laughs> I can get. I'll be like, this is great. Great, great. I'm experiencing all the things that I need to, uh, I guess. I think I'll marry, and I'll marry Jason Bourne because if if I do something he doesn't like, he probably was for a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and man, just fuck, I, I, this isn't fair to Ethan Hunt, but man, fuck, what's his face, the actor? Tom Cruise. He's the worst. He was only good, well, he's been good in lots of stuff, but <laughs> I, he's a, he's a fine actor, but I hate him. Tropic <laughs> Thunder. Loved it. He was good in, um, The Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. That movie was fucking crazy. He was so good in Risky Business. <laughs> he was 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> what a sexy man boy. <laughs> And it's tight whiteies. How white? So tight. So tight. Great. Anyway, so that's me. And that's you. And that's our quick tip for another week. Stick around because we've got more sweet content. Sweet nothing. Coming at you. No, it's something. Oh, it's something. Right, hello everyone to a podcast within a podcast. I didn't come up with a name for this segment, but we're playing <laughs> RPGs. It's called PJC RPGs. Christ, the Lord and Savior. I'm here. Uh, my name is Jimmy. Uh, uh, oh, we got we got Brian. I thought we we're doing that whole thing. No. Uh, my name is Brian, uh, and we have two people that you've never heard before. Uh, we got uh, Kyle. Howdy, howdy. And we got Colt here with us. Hola. Our friendly neighborhood neighbors, as it were. Uh, we're going to be playing some Monster of the Week. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this game, it's like X-Files, the RPG, or Supernatural. Or Buffy. The RPG. The RPG. Or Buffy, the RPG. Except they're, they're private RPGs of like all of those, but they're not that good. <laughs> they're not that good. We'll do it better. We'll do it up. <laughs> do it live. <laughs> um, so we're gonna we're gonna start from scratch here a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna take you through the character creation process. So, well, this is me really prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell it's gonna be great. Um, so we've looked at a little bit of these. Um, you're gonna take this journey along with us. Um, do the, uh, so. I think the other playbooks are underneath that uh, no 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 th th those are the playbooks oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They, they don't have pictures yeah. 
Um, but those match everything that's in No the pictures! Book. How can I read, Jimmy, if there are no pictures? You know I'm not literate. I How's the whole you? audience going to understand this, Jimmy? <laughs> describe, describe what you're seeing. <laughs> not a picture. <laughs> I, see a, I see a curvy and then a not-so-curvy letter and then a, a, a squiggle letter. That's called an S next to another S. S. <laughs> Is this a bad time to let you know that I never learned to read? Fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I won't tell you. Um, so did anyone have uh, one of the archetypes they thought they would be interested in to uh, start, I suppose? I was thinking of maybe going uh, with the wronged, um, but I mean, I'm kind of flexible if that calls out to somebody else. I, 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 I was leaning towards monstrous. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make Jimmy a happy boy. Right, let's go over a little bit. The wronged is kind of like the uh, the Sam or Dean Winchester, like a monster perhaps killed their family or their loved ones. I'd say it's very much the Dean Winchester, but I think Sam might be more like the spooky, actually, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> They're out for revenge in all in all aspects. Yeah, like the wrong, Spite. <laughs> like the wronged has like got like a huge chip on their shoulder against a particular type of monster and like their their whole shtick is they're especially like violent. Like they they've got the guns and they use the guns. <laughs> like they're high status tough. Like every like you can you get to pick like um, a set of different stats. Like every playbook has like four or five different like sets of <clears throat> stats you can choose from. And um, each playbook, or most playbooks, kind of favor one of the stats. And with the wronged, like, you can't not have a tough of plus two, which is one of the highest numbers you're going to have at the beginning. They're fucking badass. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Like, you want a gun? They're kind of the best <laughs> class, that's why I picked it. <laughs> Got a min max this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and then, Cole, you were talking about the, uh, the monstrous... Monstrous. Um, that's a literal monster. You're a monster person, um, of He's whatever half. type you might decide. He's half monster. Instead of just the societal or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of the monster you are in your day to day life. Yes. <laughs> like you don't step aside when people are getting off the train. I don't get up on Bart. You put... deal with it, <laughs> pregnant woman. <laughs> Elderly. Monstrous. Fuck you. <laughs> Yes, I'm I, sitting. Yes, I will fart if my butt is on the level of your head and we're on the train together. <laughs> Shouldn't have been so short sitting there. <laughs> That's your problem. Uh, Kyle, what about you? Did you have any, uh, any first impressions? I'm leaning towards the chosen or one of these special ones. The summoned. yeah, we got we got a uh, if, if you're if you're okay. a, a monster of the week. Uh, established player, um, you might be surprised. We're doing some of the custom playbooks that exist out there. Some of them are like official custom, and some of them are not official custom. <laughs> These are just what I could find on the internet. So, what was the one you were looking at? The summoned. What? What is its deal? Tell us. The summoned. I was called here. Don't know why. Don't know from where. But I got this sense, like a destiny waiting for me. I think real soon we're gonna find out why I was called. But I have this feeling it's for something bad, real bad. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna bring about the apocalypse, <laughs> which sounds fun. You're like a you're like a literal a literal demon, yeah, of some sort. Oh, this is the like Indian god with the multiple arms one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. One. It's kind of just like the opposite of the chosen. Like the chosen has a destiny. He's trying to figure out why what he's here for. The summon knows why he's here for. He just hmm. doesn't know what he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> it feels weird that's one of the monster hunter yeah. archetypes. Like, it's sort of like, because I think when we get into it, it's... it's um. Oh, that's like the Hellboy class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the Hellboy class. Okay, it makes sense now. Like, like oh, you don't fuck, know, I should have been hunting it's myself. basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> who knew I was the bad one all along? <laughs> King Kong ending. <laughs> Yeah, I love I love this one too because it start you have like a a, a trait that you can't uh, decline called freakish. It just says you're weird and people react badly. You can't use manipulate someone until you prove yourself to them first <laughs> that you're not a, a fucking monster person. I guess. Man, there's a lot. She's loot badass. Sure, you don't want to be the peeping tom. <laughs> What's that one? I get enough of that in my regular life. I don't need it here. <laughs> this is all about fantasy. Yeah, this is escapism. <laughs> this guy with his like full size VHS 
camcorder. <laughs> Colt, tell us about tell us about the peeping tom class. Snoop Dogg. The Snoop. <coughs> the monsters have kept themselves from sight, but they're out there, and I'm going to find them. Find them and record them. And then all of em- evidence will be un- incontrovertible. <laughs> and I will be the one who did it. Everyone will love me. I'm going to be a superstar <laughs> one day. You mark my words. Hey, did you just fill a chill? Chill? Excuse me. Quick, turn on the infrared cameras. <laughs> this is the 80s. <laughs> We'll figure it out. It'll be all right. They're very big and bulky infrared cameras. <laughs> I'm going to find the monsters bathing. <laughs> Do or die. Do or die time. <laughs> yeah, so I, it didn't sound like anybody's sort of first picks overlapped, really. Um, so did y'all have, did y'all want a fucking final choice, or are you still thinking about it? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. My body's ready, Jimmy. To Tell, be, how to ready? be monstrous. Tell, all right. <laughs> Shit. We're going to be a Do very I get, uh, group if I'm the summoned. <laughs> I am kind of wondering about that. Like, they're both, if they're both, like, really, like, monster, monster people, people. They're both monster people, and if I'm just, like, a guy with a shotgun, I don't know. Maybe I should revise my decision. Did you Did you want to talk about your, your, your character idea? Oh, I mean, I had this idea, um, since we're in the 80s, one of the tropes in the 80s was, like, you know, slightly distorted. More slightly too very disturbed Vietnam veteran, and I thought like, what if my character was like a Vietnam veteran who was like stalked by like VC vampires and NVA <laughs> mummies, um, and and other and like that kind of shit, um, and like he was like yeah, like he's always got like that I you know Vietnam vet freight like, 80s style, like not realistic Viet. I mean like you know there there was a whole realistic side to, to the fallout of the Vietnam War that you know should not be taken lightly but in like cinema of the 80s like they did not take it with the gravity they probably should have <laughs> um and yeah like uh, I kind of liked the idea of like you're sort of like uh Mel Gibson in like Lethal Weapon or um god what's another good one or John Rambo but haunting monsters mm-hmm. um I thought that'd be kind of cool um uh, and I thought the wrong to be a good fit for that. But again, if like I'm partners with Tentacle <laughs> Man and fucking Hindu Death God, maybe I should play something slightly weirder too. But, <laughs> but we're we're demons that, or we're monsters that you get along with. We're not the bad ones. <laughs> yeah, but like again, I feel like really we're like not the, vampire. I feel really like the odd man out. I don't know. I, I maybe I should like. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if I should like try to revise my decision. Well, well, how physically obvious is it that we're well, Monster. so what? What do you I mean, think? I'm, I'm straight up demon. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, like Kyle, if 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 if, if uh, you do have a lot of arms, is literally <laughs> my character that I scare. I, I'm freakishly weird looking. Yeah, you, get to, you get to choose in what way freakish, but definitely not human. Hellboy esque. Can't hide it. What cult? What type of like monster are you thinking? I don't like how. Is like it supposed sort of- to be fun or is this supposed to be like? <laughs> It's I supposed mean, to be like this is. I think this is like for a comedy podcast, yeah. kind of lighthearted. <laughs> yeah. So, so can I be like someone who's part tick, and they give people Lyme disease? Or... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but you're I, a go- You're supposed to be one of the good guys, man. <laughs> but I still like I, I consume blood, and maybe <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you're 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 the tick. But no, like, but not like. Not the blue fun-loving tick, like a tick that like you pull out of your fucking dog's behind, like after <laughs> like a camping can, trip. That can be my origin story. <laughs> <laughs> I he was, started as a tick. I was he like, developed human later. <laughs> I was canoeing by Three Mile Island and radioactive <laughs> radioactive <laughs> tick. Gotcha. <laughs> um, one of my favorite bits from the tick, uh, the comic book character, is like there's this part where like uh, some somebody's like giving him like the third degree, like you know. So you call the tick, huh? Uh, are those real antennas? He's like, you know, yeah, they're real antennas. He's like, you know, yeah, like ticks got eight legs. Why 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 don't you got eight legs? And he's like, who says I don't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I can do something less. I don't know. Yeah, if we if we're trying to keep monstery off the table, we can go. We have different choices. I mean, if, I don't want to like you know, I don't want to poop your party. If you guys both want to be monsters, I just think maybe I should play something more monstrous to be in line with you guys. You're John Rambo. <laughs> the world made you monstrous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just not like not. I'm not gonna drink nobody's blood. Don't speak. Don't knock it. Yeah. I mean, you could. 
You don't you don't know where the story's gonna take us. <laughs> you might you might have to drink some blood. It's all you about that. You just gotta do it in a funny way. <laughs> or or it can be like a something less. I could play the divine. Something more <laughs> abstract. <laughs> That might be kind of interesting compared with with y'all. A demon, a werewolf, and an angel walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> or I can be like a bear, but just <laughs> like like a werebear, like a like a manifested as a thicker gay man who. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that kind of bear. Who, who also wear bears? <laughs> wear the bears. So you're a werebear that wears bears. Yes. <laughs> and he's a bear. He's a were-bear who cares for the bears. No, he cares for the twins. <laughs> All the above, please. Hey, if, thank if, you. I mean, you... You, <laughs> you, you go... You, you, you sing along to the song in your heart, Colt. <laughs> if, that's, if that's what you want to do. I'm all for it. We'll, we'll figure out ways to make it work, I suppose, <laughs> if that's what you want. Wait, I guess is I'm just wondering how much physical manifestation of this monster. I mean, I think it sort of depends on what what you're what you're going with. Mm-hmm. Like like a vamp like they the, the the suggestions are like vampires and werewolves. So like you know in those instances like a vampire you look human enough and unless you fucking vamp out like Buffy style I guess ghost like I I don't know how you're half ghost. Like I don't. I mean, you're just a little femoral like, sometimes. I, guess, I, I, I suppose. We'll get a little femoral. <laughs> you know that. You know that part in the Ghostbusters the where like Dan Aykroyd gets a ghost BJ. <laughs> well, like imagine that like a fucking fruit came from that union. That's how you get a half ghost. That's how it happens. Imagine if it wasn't a BJ. Mm. Imagine if he wasn't using protection. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go werebear now. Okay, I like I like okay. that. That's cool. So, so I guess that means you're you you can uh, you can you can transform. You have a, a a man form that perhaps is is bear esque. Um, perhaps whatever you decide. Um, and you can you can you can turn into a bear at will. What do you what do you think? Only during salmon season. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in luck, my friend. It's always salmon season in any town. <laughs> yeah, because you pick it. You, you have to pick a curse. Um, that makes sense. But we can get to that, I suppose. Oh God. Oh man, can I be his dark master? Uh, I suppose <laughs> if, if you all work that out, hash it out together. <laughs> Consent my, is important. My Somebody summon is... me, but I control him. <laughs> gonna turn everyone into a wear bear. That's my it's my apocalypse theory. Um Kyle, what about what so where are we so do y'all have the sheets in front of you? Cause cause if you want to start filling out the things. Uh, I guess there's we're... there's the one for the monsters. Okay. If yeah, he wants it. And you've got the one for the summoned, yeah? Yeah. And then are you still are you still I'm still, about. I'm still hemming and hawing. Okay. I guess it doesn't help that I chose a class that no one else has paperwork for. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all could sky believe me. Yeah, you, you fill us in. When uh, when need be. I want to eat some jelly. Jelly buddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Delicious. the room. <laughs> we need to... You know, I fucked up uh, in, in planning this. We need to cr- recreate the, the true... Um, RPG experience. We need nothing but but Doritos and Cheetos, so that we get that real crunch right on the microphone. <laughs> I mean, I would have I would have brought Mountain Dew, but you don't drink fizzy stuff, Jack. Right? <laughs> yeah. Code Red or nothing. At all. <laughs> oh man. Code Red, like the blood of my enemies. <laughs> it's always an emergency with Code Red. <laughs> Base magical force. What is that? I don't, this is what? vague as hell. What else does uh, it say? What is the context? Oh, no, well, one like, harm. Like, like the, oh, well, like oh, each oh. of those is kind of. You think of that like a chassis that you're building off of. 
Um, like base magical force means that your base attack is like a magic missile, like a pew pew, uh, and then like you add modifiers on it. Okay, because yeah. like your other your other base attacks are like your teeth or your claws, or you have mm-hmm. a life draining ability. Yeah, uh, exactly. The other one's just like a magic. Yeah, certain stuff you can has force like... push. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're fucking Jedi bear. <laughs> Jedi bear. Only the Jedi bear deal in absolutes. <laughs> Absolute salmon. <laughs> so are we just kind of going through and picking stuff now? Is that? Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, just, if you want to kind of do the the first little section, just like doing your taxes, sexy, sexy taxes. <laughs> Circle where apply. Maybe it'd be cool to play the chosen, because like you're kind of the anti-chosen. And, like, maybe we're, like, Tango and Cash. <laughs> <laughs> that could be interesting. Starsky and Hutch. I, li- I like it. <laughs> I mean, we could wheel and deal with Sam and Dean like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. One's destined to bring about the apocalypse, one's destined to save it, you know? Hmm. It's like Rush Hour, Monster of the Week. I'm gonna choose a Chris Tucker body. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just write Chris Tucker, or do I need to... <laughs> Can you hear the demonic words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Can my vulnerability be leather? Uh, I, I, I suppose so. What are the... <laughs> it, says, it says pick a substance. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of leather out there, but if that's what you... You know, you, you can do. I'm just... You can do you. Wondering... Yeah. Irony of a bear. I don't see why not. They'd be like, what, are you vegan? I'd be like, maybe. Well, Mm -hmm. I'm about that latex. (laughs) You know, we can go as hard and wild. I'm still so goddamn torn. (laughs) (laughs) I kind of like the idea of playing like a fallen angel that looks like Bon Jovi. (laughs) Just, but just be Bon Jovi, <laughs> the real one, mm. an angel. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm gonna I'll play the divine. <laughs> I'll yes. play the divine. I kind of like the, the idea. divine or the chosen. No, the divine. Oh, okay. Like I don't know. Like the chosen is kind of tempting, but I don't know. I, I think the divine is a little more ridiculous. I like it. We're, it's like we're talking about. It's too fucking. It's got. It's got too much going on. It's like it's too powerful. <laughs> like, can't you just like banish people? You're like this. This pleases me. <laughs> Bye. There's Bye. an ability called smite where your body is considered the weakness of the monster you fight. I mean, I don't Fuck. know. It's kind of your your body and divine weapon always count as a weakness against the monsters you fight. Your unarmed attacks are to harm intimate hand messy. <laughs> <laughs> so I can punch somebody's head and make it explode. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, yeah, that's it's it. I mean, good. yeah. I, I don't know how, how do I not pick that. Oh, that's not a pencil. That's a weird paint gun. Paint gun. <laughs> paint gun. <laughs> paint, your, paint your options. Hot pocket. <laughs> and I don't know if I want a demonic body or a reptilian body. <laughs> it's a weird choice. I'm what, stuck are the, at. what are the pros and cons of each? Good question. I mean, demonic can kind of, <laughs> I guess, mean anything, but reti- reptilian is a little, a little, uh, uh, def- that, that, that's pretty defining. <clears throat> like, what does that mean? Well, I got a good picture in my mind. Yeah, very scaly to the touch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably got a cold body temperature. <laughs> I bleed ice. <laughs> Or lizards you've been around lately? Ice lizards. <laughs> I guess everyone should fill out um, basically up to the introduction. Uh, the introduction. The intro- section. The intro duck ducton. We're all ducks. I've changed. I'm forcing <laughs> everyone's hand. I'm an angel duck. I'm a angel. demon duck. <laughs> You're we're a bear. Duck. We're cops. <laughs> yeah, so we'll we'll once you get to that point, everyone will will pause. Everyone can talk about what they decided more specifically, and then we'll do the uh, history part, which is where you decide how you, what what your relation is to everyone else. 
also reasonably in the back of everyone's mind too. Y'all should be thinking about why you all are monster hunters. <laughs> I thought I thought you were just gonna stop at why. Just why? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Unless you get this far to start creating your characters, but uh, why? Uh, you know what? Net- podcast canceled. <laughs> I just got a Nintendo Switch. I don't need this shit. I got shit to do. <laughs> Mario games specifically. Uh, Dane was right. This was a horrible idea. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> I'm going to go to Alaska <laughs> instead. Man, I had a dream where Dane convinced me to go to Alaska to work with him. Oh, shit. And <laughs> I went up there, and I was like, it's a, it's a job in the kitchen, right? And he was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> And then, like, it turned out, like, it, 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 everything was, like, actually just terrible. Like, it was, it was all, like, a big trick. Like, there was no fish processing. Like, they were just <laughs> fucking locking people up. What the fuck? I wouldn't be too surprised. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, from the way some of that shit sounds, I would not be too surprised. It would still explain why Dane had a job in the kitchen. Still gotta make food for the slaves. <laughs> Uh, what stats were y'all favoring? So, you guys haven't picked stats I yet? Go, I haven't gotten that far. Oh, okay. I'm still trying to figure out what clothing I have, if any. <laughs> I mean, I kind I respect that. No, no clothes is an option. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Um, which, which lets those freakish moments of my my looks get real interesting. Just fucking Donald freakish. Duck it up. <laughs> Freakishly erotic. You got like, you got like a, a shirt. work shirt. <laughs> Only. Um... Just the shirt. <laughs> it's not a long shirt, I promise. I mean, if I go with the reptilian body, <laughs> just like Ken doll it up. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? I'm a lizard man. <laughs> ah, forget about it. Why, why come charm and cool are not like copacetic? If you you have charm, but you never cool. I don't get that. So cool. Or you're cool, but you have no charm. So cool is is a little different. I forget what can, exactly. Can, it can we get a description to? of the actual ability? Yeah, let me find where that. Let's is. do podcast learning time. So tough, tough is how like tough you. I mean, I don't know. Like it's kind of <laughs> like char- charm is like savoir faire, like social, like it, like basically one way, good way to look at it is what you uh, use them for the moves. Like tough is what you use to roll the kick some ass move, which is what Here you use go. to fight. Um, yeah, cool we, is how calm and collected you are. Yeah, mm. it's like keeping your cool. It's not like how Fonzie cool you are. Mm-hmm. Okay. A um, charm is more Fonzie cool, I think. Yeah, charm is how pleasant and persuasive you are. Um, sharp is how observant you are. Um, weird is how attuned to the supernatural you are. So that's for like magic and whatever else similar type stuff. And then tough, like you said, is just your fucking physical prowess. I start Physical. with a tough of plus two, no matter what. It's yeah, so good. do I. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Oh, sh- well, whatever. It's too late now. I have the sheet and I've written on it. And I and I cannot be charming at all. Why is my werebear so weird? Well, <laughs> well, you're a fucking monster. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much weirder than that. It's a, it's a it's kind of a miracle we don't all have a weird of three. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna make him a barista. <laughs> I've met some weird fucking baristas, man. A barista. Ah! Barista! Were you going for that? No. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. I'll, I'll admit it, but it's, it's really good. It is really it's good. A, You're welcome. It's a class A pun. <laughs> fucking barista. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> That was it, right? That was the whole point of this? We can all go now. We had the sickest pun. <laughs> I guess also to tell our listeners while well, everyone's doing that. Um, we got a we got a mixed experience group here. Brian is is by and large the most RPG experienced and savvy. You. And I've got I've got a little bit of experience. Like I've played I've played my fair share. But uh but but never a game of D and D, like only only other games, which is maybe weird, but that's okay. And is it both too weird? <laughs> at least, um, and both Brian 
or wow, both uh, both both Kyle and Colt have have never. I don't think you've ever you've you've never done one, Colt, right? Yeah. No. That first RPG. We get to we get to see it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Pop this demonic cherry. <laughs> We're going in real light. <laughs> um, I came here to roleplay fantasy. <laughs> I'm doing it as a fucking demon. <laughs> what sort of apocalypse sign do we want <laughs> revealed? I think it's up to start, you. Start with one. I think, so yeah. Maybe with the help of the group. <laughs> <laughs> if you want some suggestions, how about not? A, an apoc a not one. <laughs> how about a not one so so rain of fire or maybe not maybe eternal darkness <laughs> uh, 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 oh no the stars are right breaking the seal uh, oh. <laughs> the beast slouches in the world looking uh, at you uh, colt <laughs> oh boy <laughs> oh no have a just judgment day <laughs> oh good not nice simple judgment day that's great keep it simple the, the rise of the, the tower. M- the rise of the machines. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's the eighties. We're not there yet. Oh yeah, that's right. Early nineties. Facebook has. <laughs> Wait, eighty four. I mean, Terminator. The first one was eighties. Right. So we're there. We're there. It's, it's the ambiguous eighties. Just yeah. all of the eighties in one day. The ambiguous eighties. <laughs> the ambiguous eighties. Before I remember, this takes place in the eighties. I was thinking of doing like a what's the what's the one where all your family died or the wronged the wronged like but like as a, a tech worker. <laughs> <laughs> you lost all your friends on Facebook. No. <laughs> How could this happen to me? <laughs> You killed lost all social media imprint. You remember that episode of Buffy where they fought a demon through the internet? <laughs> I do. Oh my god, it's the worst episode. Uh. <laughs> Maybe there was also no. One of the worst ones was the fucking the the don't drink episode of Buffy. Yeah, where they turned into literal cave people because they drank cursed beer or something. <laughs> Wow, were these like the later seasons? So they the one of them was from the first season, and one of them was from like the fourth season, or maybe the fifth season. <laughs> Still that one obligatory like message episode. This Buffy season. went to college. I think they like <laughs> it was like a weird thing where they 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 got money to make an anti beer episode by some fucking I don't know what. Like I remember reading into it. There's a fucking there's a lot of a lot of work went into making the worst episode of Buffy. <laughs> Mad, remember them? The show? Oh. No, Mothers, Mothers Against, against Drunk oh. Driving. Driving. Oh. Yeah, because two D's. Yeah, <laughs> for Mo- a double dose of mo- <laughs> Mothers with double D's. <laughs> and they hate driving drunk. <laughs> They're separate issues. <laughs> Sexy moms hate alcoholics. S A H A. Sa. Sorry, how far down this were we getting? Uh, basically, up to the part where we start making relationships with other people. Oh, like introduction. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah, I ain't hurt my ass up. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, there's no real rush. Take your time, but hurry up. But we are. But hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> How many different sort of options do you have? Mm, I gotta pick two of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Two of seven. And then what's that at the bottom there? Uh, gear, gear. Uh, have you picked stats yet, Colt? When you're talking about stats, which, ratings, ratings. So, yeah. So you, it should give you like five different ratings options. Yeah. I think it's like the second section down. Uh, second page. And this one? Yeah, this yeah. rating. Pick one line. Yeah. You haven't picked one yet? Oh, I did. I just didn't mark it. Uh-oh. Yeah, so mark that and then you, you should have a, a section on the front page that like gives you a place to put those numbers. Oh. So then doesn't just do that. I was wondering if I should take a higher charm or not. 
I know that you can't do charm. I can't uh, do shit for charm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of see myself as an asshole, so I'll probably take charm of plus one. <laughs> Be a smarmy, smarmy asshole. Shmarmy. Not smarmy. Just like You're just self righteous. No, no. I'm th- I was <laughs> actually. I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking more bullshit artist. Oh. L- less, less like, hmm, I mean, I'm an angel. More like, hey, you, I mean, uh, you I mean, can't, I, I can't have stolen your car. I'm an angel. I <laughs> borrowed it. I mean, yeah. You're, you're running around with a full-fledged demon and a werebear with you. So you gotta be like, hey guys, so uh, it's all cool. They're not, they're <laughs> also, <fine>. they're <laughs> also angels. Like if you really get into the Bible, like, I mean, the, the way they describe angels is kind of crazy. <laughs> Winged bear. I mean, look at him. <laughs> that one's fallen. Yeah. <laughs> Just like if you squint. A bear. <laughs> if you do like a little bit of squinting, like you'll, you'll see. They're angels. It's fine. <laughs> but we are taking oh, your car. Oh, mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> you know that I can throw that car? Oh, are you very strong? I'm doing the mayhem. What is that? That's where I can grab nearby large objects and use them as weapons. <laughs> Fuck. Including, read, read, ben- Yeah, read for everyone else. <laughs> so, Mayhem, when you grab a nearby large object and use it as an improvised weapon, first determine how much damage it will do. Uh, these large objects are uh, include, but are not limited to, fire extinguishers, fence posts, furniture, motorcycles, lampposts, masonry chunks, cars, dumpsters, <laughs> boulders, bus, trucks, or walls. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking last one some of these are not like the others I mean some of them do more damage masonry chunks buses <laughs> a masonry a masonry chunk does three harm a bus does five fuck I should hope so <laughs> that's at least one and a half masonry chunks <laughs> <laughs> For 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 also for context, I think a player dies after seven harm. <laughs> so a bus will mostly kill you. <laughs> bus will fuck you up. <laughs> God, per- permanent lasting damage. <laughs> if, if if I'm a werebear, do I need to pick shapeshifter also? Uh, and, and I mean, like unless you decide that you want to be in werebear form kind of all the time. Uh, Shapeshift. You yeah. might want to take it. Okay. I think it is. I just didn't know character. if I was double dipping. Like, well, I think that would have to be your your choice for that. Okay. Narratively. All right. What, <laughs> what, is, what is forward? Oh, plus one forward. Uh, that's just like a bonus to your next roll. So okay. like you you roll your dice and then you get plus one plus your stats to whatever that is. It usually just means on your next roll, unless it, unless it says plus one forward ongoing, which mm-hmm. means it's like a continual plus one, usually mm-hmm. until like a, it'll say when it stops. Yeah. It's like I have an ability called Why So Serious. If you cap <laughs> off a move with an appropriate one-liner, <laughs> the team gets plus one forward. <laughs> That's pretty good. Are you taking it? You're looking, uh, you're looking tempted. I don't know how creative I am with my one-liners. <laughs> You could always <laughs> give it the old college try. Yeah. I can take lay on hands, which is like a healing move. I don't really dig it, but it could be really useful. And does does how how would a how would angelic healing work on a demon? Could you heal a demon? Uh, mm. that's kind of your call, I think, game master. Oh, man. Or MC, I guess. He's a master keeper. of creepy ceremonies. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're a keeper in this. MC. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess it would be kind of useless on these two schmoes. Okay, that that's yeah. it. I'll take a different. <laughs> I'll take a different thing. Every time you try to use it, it just causes more harm. I feel like you might be able to heal Colt, but I don't know. But I I feel like like the the, the source of healing. <laughs> Would be disadvantageous. What, what if I what if I chose the reptilian body? <laughs> well, then Does yeah. that change? Uh, are you a reptilian demon? <laughs> I don't know, but I could have a rocket launcher. Oh my god! I'll be right back. Carry on. 
I like how one of my options is a right, a red right hand. Ah. <laughs> Like this, this game is just like you want to be Hellboy. Do you? If I can be a Hellboy, if you want, we can we can set that up. Or a super hand cannon. I like the idea that I can just pull out a wall and then launch a rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> what, I'm sorry. What was that about the rocket launcher again? Can you? I pull out the wall and then I shoot the rocket launcher through the hole I just made. So, so wait, can you start with a rocket launcher? Yeah. <laughs> I can start with a super hand cannon, a machine gun, a rocket launcher, a gigantic hell sword, okay. an automatic shotgun, or a red right hand. Okay. One, okay. Of, the, one of those. <laughs> those are cool choices. I mean, that uh, that is pretty fucking cool. I'm starting to, I'm starting to think I made the right decision <laughs> with this class. Red right hand, right? I don't know what that does, but I'd like to find out. Just three harm ma- hand magic. <laughs> hand magic. Hand magic hand. I like hand to think that I can just walk hand. up to people and just bam. I mean. Just backhand them. Yeah. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> <laughs> and I took why so serious, so that gets y'all plus one forward. Hell yes. Right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. So if it says roll plus cool. So you're gonna so every time you roll for anything, you're just rolling the two the two <coughs> to six dice. Um so you're gonna roll so whatever that number is, plus or minus the number of your cool stat is what your final number is gonna be. So like if you want to be good on your cool rolls, then get high cool. High cool. But that's, yeah, that's kind of the idea. That sounds like an actual beverage from the 80s. High, high school. High, high cool. <laughs> Some, yeah, it sounds like something in Korea now. <laughs> yeah, okay, that too. Are you up to the, you filled out? I, I can't decide for moves, so I'm just going to pick one. Like when you're what at a you, restaurant and options? everyone's ready. And just like, <laughs> chicken. What do you, what do you, what do you have? What are your options? Well, mental dominion sounds baller. What is that? It's when you gaze in normal human eyes, you exert your will, will over them. And That's so good. I regular people will follow your orders, whatever it is, mm. which is pretty, pretty saucy. <laughs> and then hunters can choose whether or not to do it. If they do, they mark experience. I don't know what that means, but I like the first part. Uh, so I, I think y'all are the hunters. Yeah, that last hu- part. Hu- hunter is basically like player character. So if you try to control us, we well, have the we're not of... either of us normal humans though. So it wouldn't really affect us. I don't think. But you're a hunter. That's but we're not. To... We're also not normal humans though. But you get to choose. That's what it says for hunters. So you can try it, and we could be like, sure, I'll do what you want. Mm. But then you get experience. I don't. I don't know. If we, but basically, like um, you, like you gain experience points as you play this. Generally, by failing a roll, once you get a certain amount of experience, you can like choose a new move, uh. or choose a rather choose a thing. It gives you thing improvements. You can choose an improvement. Um, and yeah, if we if we decide to be mind controlled, um, the incentive is we can take experience. Yeah, I could be like eat your vegetables. And you're like. <laughs> I guess this time. I, it, I it, it would be you for, it would, for you. I mean, if we were to try to game the system like that, it would be become it upon Jimmy to destroy us all. <laughs> Poisonous vegetables. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Take six harm. <laughs> you explode on the inside. <laughs> Take fuck you forward. Um, and so, what is take a move from a hunter playbook that is not currently in play oh so like you have all your moves <laughs> uh-huh but like all these other playbooks you could steal one of them oh i could take one of his insane demonic you things do that i would suggest for this game <clears throat> probably not taking that because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it can get a little it can get complicated immediately <laughs> for me <laughs> to remember what everyone can do <laughs> got you mental dominion 
<laughs> gotcha. gotcha. Control over the regular humans. Yeah. And then did you pick your gear, Colt, as well? I did. Okay. Um, changing this to charm plus two. <laughs> All right. So I guess, I guess starting with Kyle, what what do you what do you got? Uh, so I'm a male with a demonic body. I, I think this means I, I obsess over junk food. Because it gives me, it gave me, it gave me a bunch of options like cigar, pets, sports, junk food, hat, oh. films. So I think I'm obsessed with junk food. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and I'm wearing some working clothes, which may or may not include pants. Haven't decided yet. <laughs> like working clothes, like like what do you what do you envision? Like a, just like a blue collar shirt. Okay. Again, not decided on the pants. Like, are you are you of normal like human build or? Are you pretty beefy, or what do you think? Well, I am tough. Ford tough. <laughs> <laughs> and my name's Ford. <laughs> Ford. <laughs> With a J. I did forget to do the name part. So. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll come back to that. Yeah. Unless it's Ford. Then we'll press on. <laughs> I'm picturing, like, a very top-heavy demon. Like, I'm okay. just very, like, wide-shouldered, little waist. <laughs> like, you skip leg day for centuries? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was my punishment. I just wasn't allowed to work on my legs. <laughs> um. All right. What else? What What about the moves and things? Uh. So oh, actually, I think so. I think it's important that the first sign of the apocalypse, um, that we know about is Judgment Day. <laughs> uh, dun 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 dun. dun. Oh <laughs> boy. Um. May or may not have seen that in theaters. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, and then my moves are the mayhem, which we already talked about, where I can grab large objects and use them as improvised weapons. Mm-hmm. And then why so serious? Uh, if I cap off a move with an appropriate one-liner, the team gets plus one forward. Um, so the next hunter, hunter who makes a roll gets plus one. Cool. Um, as far as my gear, I have a rocket launcher. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I also have a big sword. Oh. <laughs> How big are we talking? Oh, it's big. <laughs> like anime I've, big? I've been, I've been on arm day for centuries. <laughs> God. How are we going to carry this shit around? Like bigger than you? Do you have you? a station wagon? I mean, what the hell? I mean, I, I, I envision the rocket launcher is always across my back. <laughs> always. And along the other oh shoulder, like rocket launchers holding up over the left, the sword's just always laid across the right. This is going to be just interesting. <laughs> But man, Fucking I might just tip wild. over. I might tip over real easy. <laughs> Wowzers, Bowsers. I lost my safety harness. <laughs> oh no! Uh, all right, Colt. How, well, did, did you? Do you uh, want to come back to you for a name, Kyle? Yeah, come back to me. Forgot. I'm also. I'm also freakish, which is just a oh, move. Right, I, right, the right. move I can't deny. Yeah. Uh, how does that manifest? Do you think? So I'm weird, and people react badly to me. Uh, I can't manipulate someone uh, unless I prove myself to them first, which may be hard with a rocket launcher and a sword strapped to my back. <laughs> um, and this includes other hunters. Uh, it's up to them whether or not I've proved myself. Uh, until then, you just try to get away. Um, they'll just try to get away from you. <laughs> uh, I can spend one luck to have the person to have the person take to me. Um, it's got some other rules baggage. I imagine I'm just freakishly weird looking uh-huh. as a as a as a somewhat red demon looking dude. Uh, so you are so you are yeah. red. I don't know if you said that. I did not. Okay. Let's go with the yes. Okay. <laughs> so you're you're kind of Hellboy, but yeah. with a rocket launcher and a sword instead of a big red fist. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, it. Yeah. So I'm just very imposing. Very the like, waist up. like perhaps it's hard for you to get through doors. Like you're very wide in the shoulders. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Sword sword catches on a lot of things. Yeah, too. also the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> but I can just tear the walls down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah fuck you fuck you architecture. My my apartment at home is just giant torn out doorways. <laughs> <laughs> like cartoonish shaped holes in the walls. <laughs> Like we're, with a fucking sword tip on one side. <laughs> I'm ready to go at all times. Uh, all right, Colt. What about what do you got for us? Where do I start? 
From from the top, I guess. Just describe what you look like. If you got your name yet, tell us that first. Bjorn. Cool. <laughs> cool, yeah. Legit. I'm writing that down, because it wasn't there before. And then I guess, I guess tell us what you look like in human form, and then also in bear form. So in human form, I look like a bear. <laughs> Wait, okay, alright, go on. <laughs> Meaty, bearded. Flannel. Uh-huh. Jeans. And apparently, I, I'm just gonna go with, uh, like, Columbia catalog. <laughs> Outdoor clothes. Uh-huh. So, let your mind wander over that. Perhaps there are cargo pockets. It is the 80s. That's true. <laughs> so, that. Okay. And, um... Does your, does your bear have any specific looks about your wear bear like are you just are you just a bear or are you start like a like a bear monster like a like a like a you can kind of stand up on two legs and fuck shit up or are you are you if 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 a if somebody was to look at you in wear bear form they would just see a bear they wouldn't they wouldn't know you were a monster that's how i would envision it okay. except i'm wearing like stretchy outdoor clothes so. <laughs> You're fucking hulking it up. <laughs> it's like this this bear just went through the mall. What, this bear's what? got fucking style. <laughs> okay. Why is this bear wearing carrying a fly fishing pole? <laughs> Don't make no sense. Um and then curses? Is that next? Yeah. So feed. You must subsist on living humans. It might take the form of blood, brains, or spiritual essence. Mm. You need to act under pressure to resist feeding whenever a perfect opportunity. Wait, to resist feeding whenever a perfect opportunity? Yeah. Okay. So. Because you're, you're a good guy. Right. So. <laughs> what? So what? What? Wait, form? we were making good guys. <laughs> <laughs> well. So just. So what? What? What form does it take? Are you? Are you just trying to eat? Eat? Just eat them up? I think I was going to go for spiritual essence, okay. but I don't know. Blood sounds all right. That's, that was the whole like tick angle. I thought mm-hmm. it would be like, hey, let's come back to my place. You're going to have a red meat allergy after. So you're like a werebear vampire bear a little bit. Well, I'll just say spiritual essence Okay. for now. See how that plays out. Okay. Or blood, and I can just prey on politicians and... <laughs> High school guidance counselors. I was gonna say, yeah. like, politicians might be kind of rough unless you like deign to feed on like local aldermen and like city councilmen. <laughs> you know, I I saw Twin Peaks. There's, there's shady people in small towns. <laughs> Sometimes and always. That's it. And then natural attacks. Am I going through that? Yeah. So maybe you can clarify what magical force. Is that I just come up with something? What a that does one damage. So is that just? Let me find it in the book. If I can, it's never where I think it's gonna be. Well, what's the difference between hand and intimate? That's a good question that I don't have an answer to. Um, um hand is like hand to hand range. Intimate means like you're like right up close and personal with them. Yeah, I, I guess stuff. I guess your mouth <laughs> on somebody for teeth is more intimate, intimate than a hand to hand. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, so I guess I guess I would just say uh, like a magical force is 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 perhaps a little intangible. But it would just be like whatever you thought made sense, like a like a blast or like whatever. But it just sort of has like this game kind of works with tags a little bit. So like perhaps some monsters might only be damaged with a magical item, and if y'all are gun toting, you know, like a like a rocket launcher is not gonna fuck up a ghost. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm gonna try, <laughs> and it'll be entertaining. But. You know, so it's like if you if if somebody on the team has a magical 
attack or weapon. Um, that's just kind of what that means. Like, a lot of this stuff is just descriptors. Um, and then the harm that it does is, like, how actually fucking badass it's going to be. But the other stuff is is kind of more just, like, narrative narrative or game rules descriptors like it doesn't it, it just it just cares if something cares about it basically um if that makes sense gotcha <laughs> life drain that's that feels like something you might need it's a little weird for a werebear <laughs> but i mean if it's just a if it's just a magical drain is that something you gave yourself it is what i gave myself to fit with my whole wear bear life essence sucking. <laughs> I changed it, Jimmy. What did you do? I'm sorry. What did you change? So I went for pure drive instead. Instead and of which? Instead of feed. Oh, okay. So now one emotion rules me. Lust. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I like that. <laughs> And it's very teeth. good. <laughs> <laughs> teeth is what we're going with. And then mental d dominion. Or no. Yeah, it is mental dominion. So influencing others. Okay. And shapeshifter. When okay. I, when I want to do the nasty in the forest. And then what are your uh, handy weapon? Your one handy weapon, if any. You you are not required to take this. Oh. Um, but you can, if you would like. I'll take a big knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. Um, and then, Brian? Okay. Um, I am playing the Divine. And uh, in terms of looks, I am a man, or I look like a man. Um, and I... Um, <clears throat> I have glowing blue eyes, but mm. I mostly wear <laughs> shades in, in in civilian world, so I don't look like you know I I don't stand up Not totally obviously. a lot mm -hmm. like a big red guy. Uh, what, are you trying, <laughs> what are you trying to say? It's nothing. <laughs> don't nothing. be red shaming. <laughs> and oh God, um, I he mostly wears like casual clothes, which I'm interpreting as like a leather biker jacket, acid wash jeans, some kind of grimy white kicks, and a mm -hmm. white t-shirt. Okay. Um, and, uh, Too his, cool for school. his moves are, um, angel wings, uh, which I can use to go, uh, anywhere I've visited before or to a person I know well, and I can carry one or two people with me. Ooh. Um, I have a move called what I need when I need it, where I can store any small object I own, putting it into a magical space. Nobody can get to. Um, great for petty theft, uh, ironically. Uh, and I, of course, have the classic ability Smite, where my body and my divine weapon always count as a weakness against the monster I, the monsters we fight, and my unarmed attacks are too harm, intimate, messy. It's pretty good. Actually, it's intimate hand messy, so it could be up close and personal, or it could be hand to hand. Um, and of course, I do have a divine weapon, as mentioned earlier. Uh, mine's a flaming sword. Um, which will be interesting to travel with. And I also get divine armor uh, that has a look suited to divi my divine origin. I have decided I'm a fallen angel. So it's probably some like sort of shimmery chainmail looking shit, okay. um, which maybe I wear under my clothes. And uh, I was put on earth for a purpose. I have a mission. Mine was I've been exiled because <laughs> I'm, I'm shitty at being an angel. <laughs> Uh, I have to work for the cause of good without drawing attention from my brothers and sisters as they are bound to execute me for my crimes. Holy moly. I was a really bad angel. Oh, they don't like me. Uh, I've also decided that, yes, I do look like Bon Jovi. Um, so I've got a, a sweet brown mullet and I've got fucking romance cover good looks. Are and you, I've got perma stubble. Are you are you kind of a little bit larger or are you, are you just human size? Like I'm like basically, I'm Bon Jovi size. Okay. Here I go again on my own. Uh, what about a name for you? Um, Joviel. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Subtle. Thank you. All right, now, Kyle, do you have a name? I do. I'm going to be Shax. Hey, spell that. Oh, I X's? like it. Two X's. I like it. 
<laughs> Third of them feeling raunchy. <laughs> All right. Third one, this one over here is Lustin. <laughs> All right, well, cool. So that was our introductions. Um, so the next section for character creation is to um, to kind of give a round of history. But I think before we do that, um, if it makes sense. Um, in, in a general sense, we're all supposed to, or you all sup are supposed to, kind of decide why you are all working together to fight monsters in a general sense. And I think that this is going to be very interesting. Uh -huh. um, so, what, so <laughs> I vote we're all Scooby Doo gang. <laughs> Classic Scooby Doo gang, yeah. We all met at high school. <laughs> Two monsters and an angel. <laughs> this this week on ABC. I, I could be the guy with the van. <laughs> he lives down by the river in the forest. <laughs> I mean, they're often <laughs> Uh, Well, we're all kind of misfit monsters ourselves. Maybe, like, we all kind of don't want to do classic monster shit and we banded together to like fight against other monsters because we kind of just want to do our own thing and other monsters like fuck shit up for us how about that like no we don't want to bring an end to the world we kind of just want to like hang out and party and, mo and monsters are uh, uh <laughs> a fucking threat to that to just chilling <laughs> yeah I don't know I kind of like that idea yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Any any other ideas? That like it doesn't have to be that one, of course. I guess my character could want to fuck Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, just in the background. Just hanging in out. In the background. <laughs> in the foreground. If you know what I so mean. So that so see <laughs> so you're just tagging along. You're like, I don't necessarily care about just chilling, but I do want some of this fucking juicy angel butt. <laughs> So I'll go along. I'll fight the monsters. I mean, these acid wash jeans are like painted on. I mean, it's just like so tight, it's so firm. So, so it's a it's a, a fallen angel and a demon spawn who and, and a sidekick <laughs> and, and, and the sidekick werebear who wants to fuck the angel. <laughs> I'm just a werebear townie. What do you What do you want from me? In small town, any any town, USA. Small town, any town, big town, USA. I mean, why are you judging me? Why is an angel in any town? You could be anywhere. Hey, you could be in the Hollywood. He's just trying. He's just trying I mean, to chill. Man, I, the jukebox has just got some good songs on it. But only in this, it has the best songs in at this that town. Roadhouse, the, <laughs> that Roadhouse, that that Swayze guy works at. <laughs> Danton, that's his name, Danton. Um, all right, so that sounds like we have it. I think. Yeah. If everyone's good with this. Other monsters are fucking up with our fucking our chill. <laughs> we just want to chill. And some angels aren't fucking some bears currently, <laughs> to the dismay of yes. certain bears. <laughs> um. All right, so I guess we'll we'll go in backwards order now, starting with Brian. Are we? Um, choose so so at this part of character creation, each each playbook, each of the character playbooks has um, a bunch of oh where are they in this one? A bunch of uh, history, and you get to sort of decide whether in conjunction or kind of just by yourself what your relationship is to every other playable character. Um, and they have some 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 presets that are um, custom to each playbook. So, uh, so Brian, give that a little look a do. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm looking. Um, um okay, Shax, uh, you're an abomination. It should be destroyed. Except I can't do it. I just can't do it. And uh, it says work out with them. Why not? I can I immediately think of why not because that's an angel's job and I don't want to be a fucking angel like they've, they've got the same problem monsters have like they're gonna fucking harsh our buzz so I don't want to do the angel thing and kill you because that would make me one of them that sound good like a legit reason not to kill me okay cool. <laughs> you are an abomination though just so you know I just thought I should oh, I, know. I should remind you you're you are an abomination I'm very self-aware <laughs> that was that was two X's you said 
Yeah, two X's. And do, do I do you want me to do the other one as well for? Um. Well, how about we just we just take turns? So so Colt cool. goes next. Um, this is history. Yeah. So you're gonna All choose. Right. Yeah. It's right. J O V I A L. Uh, no, that's that's like <laughs> jovial as in ha ha ha. Oh. Mine is J O V I E L. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's jovial. Okay. Jovial. <laughs> Jovi dash L. <laughs> Maybe. Whatever. It's in the script of angels, so there's not really a good <laughs> English version. <laughs> so, a couple months back, I saved Jovi over here. <laughs> From one of my own kind. Another werebear. Can you believe it? <laughs> Another rambunctious, wild, buck wild forest werebear. There's other werebears. Was he also We're trying territorial to fuck <laughs> He was also after these sweet acid washed buttocks. I was drunk off my ass in the woods and he was trying to tear my pants off. Ah, get off of me, werebear! <laughs> That's how it all started. On one... Moonlit night. Do you know about? <laughs> do you know about the other werebear? Oh, that werebear's you... gone. Did you get him? <laughs> no, he went back to his family in Kentucky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was just visiting. <laughs> it was a werebear reunion. Do you ever play? Do you ever play the salmon Ma- like the old salmon Max game? Yeah. It's fucking the plot of that game is that there's a Bigfoot reunion. <laughs> In some fucking tourist trap town, and <laughs> and you gotta you gotta help you gotta help as freelance police with the Yetis. Um, <laughs> it's a very good game. Uh, Kyle slash Shax. Uh, so for Jovial, um, you're tied into my destiny somehow. Uh, I'm uh, supposed to tell you how you fit in with my first sign of the apocalypse. Oh so shit! This was Judgment Day. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Um, as for how you fit into the first sign, I just know that you were there on Judgment Day. Hmm. Okay. So, like, you 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 were, you will be. Like, I'm a little confused yeah. about this mechanic. So, like, is this like yeah. this thing's let's, going let's to re- happen, or <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the world is going to end? So let's revisit the rules for apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> So I am destined to bring about the apocalypse. I may or may not know what it uh, know about it yet, but sorry, uh, you may or may not know about it yet. But you have at least come across some hints of my of your destiny. Pick a sign <laughs> of the apocalypse, which was Judgment Day, uh, that we have has already been revealed to you. Whenever you you use luck, you'll trigger another sign of the apocalypse. Uh, you can suggest what it might be, but it will be the keeper's job to uh, bring the sign into the story. Uh-huh. Uh huh. When all my luck is used, the apocalypse is imminent. It's up to you to stop or cause the end of the world. <laughs> your call. Okay. <laughs> so your so 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 your thing is saying that he the the Joviel will play a key role in it on when the day comes. Is that what that means? <laughs> you giving me a look. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winning this. I've never done this before. <laughs> I mean, I haven't either with this specific one. I'm, I may, maybe um, it help if you saw the wording. Like, uh, could it? Could, I mean, do you want to take a look at the the wording, Jimmy? Well, you've got man. These character sheets for the custom ones are way better. Um, they got fucking slots for the names and everything. Yeah. Uh, people that cared took the time. Saved your ass when the shit went down. Um, <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't trust either one of these two to do that. I guess that's... I mean, I guess that makes sense. But just, like, when when it comes, he'll he'll play a part in his... I guess what that what that feels like that must mean. Like, he'll play a part like, in Like, the apocalypse... Day. Or, like, the, you know, Judgment Day, good or bad. Um... T2, fight the robot. Um. <laughs> uh, uh, judgment Day didn't happen until T3. Look, Shax, there is no fate but what we make. Okay? <laughs> exactly. So I know I know he's going to be there, so that's why I'm kind of hanging around. But also, he's just a chill dude. Hasta la vista. Beer and pizza at my place? It's a small town. 
<laughs> VH, VHS and chill. VHS and chill. <laughs> Betamax. But, uh, <laughs> please. Uh, try, like, was... Uh, We're not savages around here, we bear. Was Blockbuster extant in the 80s? Probably. Blockbuster and chill? I don't know. Something like that. Let's, let's wander the aisles for half an hour. And then <laughs> not rent anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then fuck in the aisles. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so how about we go? We'll, we'll we'll make Kyle do the next one, and we'll go backwards. Okay. Uh, Catan style. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, Colt. What was your character's name? Bjorn. Bjorn. <laughs> Bjorn. Um. So I could probably take you in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not entirely certain. Uh, together, we gotta decide when the last time we threw down was and what interrupted that fight. <laughs> my guess is Bon Jovi came in the room. <laughs> is it is it my job to answer that? Uh, I guess you 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 both hash it out. Oh, you both figure out what 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 the story is. Wished on. When was the last time we fought? <laughs> you know, just one of those. Where bear will be where bear. <laughs> demons did, will be demons. Did I maybe try to save Jovial from from an assault? No. <laughs> Grab, grabbed grabbed a hold of you and wrestled for a bit. <laughs> Could be. You just never know when the moonlight takes you. <laughs> and your your where bear instincts kick in, and there's no salmon in the river yet. <laughs> It gets lonely out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like the only monster we'll really be fighting is our inner demons. <laughs> and this outer demon named Shax. <laughs> I, I I'm see... not outer all the time. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I'm inner. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh-oh. Y'all just got plus one forward. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Um, t- 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 all right, so that sounds resolved. <laughs> sure. Uh, Colt, you, you next. Um, Shax. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> it sounds very Destiny. Like, whose name, it is. <laughs> whose name is that? It's the Crucible. The Crucible leader. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I did look it up. It is a demon name. <laughs> Only with one X. <laughs> if you spell it with a Q and an S... Basketball. <laughs> I'm not that kind. I'm not that kind of demon. <laughs> A b-ball demon. I, I'm, I'm the red demon. So you're you're on the. I don't know. This joke. This joke works if I know a basketball team that's red. But I don't. Red State Warriors. I don't know. Red State Warriors. <laughs> we're the we're the Golden State in Soviet Russia. Not my state. <laughs> Red they must Warriors. crush the NBA. <laughs> Basketball bounces you. <laughs> All right, so we met at a. Uh, we fought together against the odds and prevailed at a Toon Man cornhole tournament. I don't know if they do. They have cornhole in the eighties. What is that? <laughs> Isn't that, you know what that game is? where you throw like bean bags in a hole? Like, yeah, it's just the most unfortunate oh, name. I think it's been around for a while. Yeah, I think I've never that's... heard the name. I didn't know that game had a name. It yeah, cornhole. it's got a name, <laughs> man. It it does, and the people in the office next to me are playing all the time. And every time they say it, I shudder a little <laughs> bit. Like we're having beers and playing cornhole, and I'm like. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't figure that would. Mi- that I don't. I wouldn't normally see that in like an office game room. Interesting. It's outside. Uh, not like. Huh. You work in a forest, pretty much. <laughs> uh, are, Both Col- literally and. <laughs> Colt, are you a bear? Are you a bear? Are you a bear? a bear? I'm more of an otter, but I I aim to be a bear one day. Huh. That's how hunters work. <laughs> That's why he's role playing the fantasy of you, being a bear. That, I gotta, I gotta make, all makes sense. It all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> gotta pick up a milkshake on the way home. But one day, I, I don't. I, I wrote, I wrote down Bjorn and Shax played cornhole. <laughs> 
and we and won. defeated the odds. And defeated the odds. We we were the under under <laughs> the underdog in that situation. It could be that that he has four arms. I don't know. He's he's handy. I only have two at the moment. Oh, at the moment. Okay. And you didn't pick reptilian, so you can't like shed your skin and grow more arms. <laughs> And now you're regr- you're like looking at your sheet like, am I gonna grow <laughs> more? Mm-hmm. I'm a demon. Tails. Did the demon stuff. shed? <laughs> Not shed, but I can just grow stuff. I mean, we'll see what happens. I guess. Sorry, I did add it late to my character thing that I do have two horns, one okay. of which is broken. Oh, ah. all right, cool, cool. Maybe they got in a deadly cornhole accident. <laughs> <laughs> I got caught in one of the holes. Ah! <laughs> got it only one way. Ah! Uh, all right. Damn you, cornhole! <laughs> Not again. <laughs> you won't get my other horn. Oh God, I'm stuck again. Help! Not again. I'm too Bjorn. I'm too bulky. Bjorn, help! <laughs> All right, uh, Brian. Oh. Ah, man, it's I don't know. It's kind of rough. Uh, so it, last one's Bjorn for me. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess this is only appropriate. Um, <laughs> uh, they saved my life, and I understand intellectually at least that I owe them for it. Because, <laughs> like again, a werebear oh, had yeah. me by the ass, <laughs> shake me around the forest, and uh, he saved my ass literally. <laughs> So even though he's now kind of lusting after you himself, uh, you still feel like you owe him one. Yeah, so, I mean, can, so that's why we're letting him hang around. I mean, intellectually at least, I understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And apparently, I lust. Period. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Curvy piece of wood. Uh. <laughs> um. Cool. In the moonlight. <laughs> In the moonlight. Baby, it's holes been so holes. long. Even the rose's hips are turning me up. <laughs> um all right so this has been excellent so let me ask you all this now some 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 more sort of story questions so what do, do y'all like y'all probably y'all hang out yeah y'all like hang like out where, sure. do, where do you do where do you hang out where could we hang out i imagine the local watering hole of some sort a watering hole that's understanding about shacks, though. <laughs> Unless, like, I mean, he's got a... He's, I, I don't know if we can, like, do a Ninja Turtles, like, throw him under a trench coat thing. I kind of doubt it. <laughs> be a big trench coat. Is there, like, a monster we... bar we could go to? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In any town in USA, there is a lo- low-key... That's the thing. It's a low-key monster bar. Mm. Uh, so the monsters are all rambunctious and shit. That's what we have to stop. Yeah, because they're fucking of, up our low key bar. These are monsters. Monster like <laughs> this is like uh, this is like a monster bar, but they're like they're chill monsters. They just want to go along to get along. You know, okay. they don't want to like you know. They're not down with like they're not they're not necessarily good, but they're not down with evil and shit. You okay. know, they just want to like do their thing. Did you guys ever see Constantine? Uh, no, but I've heard it's actually not all that. I heard it's I heard it's got redeeming qualities. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, but there's a character in there. It's a uh, Papa Midnight, who like he runs like a club, and it's uh, like angels and demons can kind of just intermingle and hang out. Yeah, and that's kind of the rules. Like no weapons, no, uh, no fighting or anything. Mm-hmm. And you can just come and hang out and be yourself. I like it. Yeah, I'm down. All right, final question. What's the bar? What's the name of the bar? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> They're really trying to blend in. <laughs> is it? Is it just? Is it? Is it hidden? Is this a monster normative town? Like, <laughs> probably not. Probably, probably not. I don't know, Jimmy. What's what's the status of any town USA? As far as what? Monsters. <laughs> How accepted are they by the church-going folk? <laughs> is it a known factor in any town USA that there's just fucking monsters around? That's a, that's a very different world. I, it sounds to me. It's 
I guess there's been incidents. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. There's <sighs> traveling, but not not widespread knowledge, I'd assume. It's a it's like a little fucking podunk dive bar that there's literally just no one in there but us. <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe it's like glamoured such that it looks like a dive bar to most folks, but like fellow supernaturals like us, like they can see, oh, it's full of freaks. I don't I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. What if it's a uh, what if it's let me just throw this out there. What if it's a uh, what if it's a speakeasy? Yeah. You got to know the special knock to get in. Yeah. Or something like that. I mean, that would explain why nobody else is there. Like, no, wait, no regular folk are there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. It's like a gentleman's club. All but right. the gentleman's got a tentacle penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's called Cheers? <laughs> I mean, not really. <laughs> what if it's Cheers with a question mark? Cheers? <laughs> <laughs> we are normal. Hey guys, hey guys, you want to go hang out at Cheers? <laughs> Two exclamation points. <laughs> Cheers, question mark, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if it's called Limbo? Ooh. Yeah, neither heaven nor hell. We could be real on the nose and say purgatory. Oh. <laughs> that, that'd be cool, too. <laughs> Hi, Colt. <laughs> Colt just shrugs. <laughs> That'll do. That's the name? That'll do. <laughs> That'll do, bar. That'll do. It's the ba- name of the bar is Babe the Pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's right next to the other town bar, Gordy the Pig. <laughs> That's where you enter the speakeasy at. It's through Gordy to get to Babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I've still never heard any mention of Gordy outside of you Jimmy you've never seen it's it's it was popular it was bad it wasn't good <laughs> what? that's a sentence it was popular it was bad <laughs> it wasn't good it wasn't like good stupid garbage <laughs> and I was a stupid garbage kid and, and it sounds like you're the only kid who has seen it <laughs> I had, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was in theaters, but like I had it on VHS. I, I saw a lot of trash movies as a kid. Yeah, like it came out just a, right around the same time as Babe did, but probably after. And it wasn't as good as or charming as Babe. It was a Deep Impact Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gordy and Babe. That Deep Impact didn't do nearly as well. It was it's, a good movie though. It was probably a better movie. But and maybe Gordy less, was less, too. Less explosions. <laughs> Any less Aerosmith. <laughs> um. So what? So, so Limbo, Purgatory. What do you think? Colt, you picked. Last call. <laughs> <laughs> Since two X's over here is gonna end everything. Alright. <laughs> the bar the bar knows the apocalypse is gonna happen. Right, I'm call I'm calling final answer. It's 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 last call. <laughs> okay. I mean it's not it, That sounds cool. It's an appropriate name for a bar. Yeah. Alright, so um I have sort of a a, a tiny <laughs> a tiny intro. Um It's actually we- a TGI Fridays, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> It's, no one goes in there. It's perfect. <laughs> Use that double secret knock for one dollar off your. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me pull up my drive here. Your watered down margarita. Hmm. All right. So here's our here's our intro, which I think we we spoke about a little bit, but we didn't ever say to the audience. So here we go. It's the time, the 1980s. Which year exactly? Don't worry about it. The place? Anytown, USA. The perpetual balmy autumn evening is lit up with the town's many neon lights. The town's many youths are youthing it up in the streets, much to the dismay of the crotchety elderly. The very center of town, right in the middle of Main Street, lies Anytown's claim to fame, the Anytown Hot Tub. Lit by spotlights and roped off by the fanciest velvet ropes, 
The hot tub has remained in operation since before the town was founded around it. (laughs) Where once was a single hot tub, now a bustling autumn-based industry. Okay. Um, So you three are in the Last Call Bar. Um, what are, what are you doing in the bar? Uh, or ordering a Boilermaker. Okay. Beer and a shot. Uh, what does a bartender look like? He's a, he's like a... Is he a mundane? <laughs> no, I feel like he's a, he's like a little goblin. He's like a, <laughs> like a little goblin, like a, like a jet black, but with like a big head and big horns coming out of the side like way too big for his tiny body to actually maintain oh <laughs> kind of like pathfinder goblin is it is that how they are well they do? They've, they've got huge ass heads compared to their bodies but they're also very tiny uh, i don't know like, i like it I, yeah if, i mean if, if you i i thought you're going for the reference but if you're not it's, it's... he's naked oh god <laughs> but he's got a tiny little body. kind of guy <laughs> His name is Sprinkles. No pants and work. He, he's naked, but he's as smooth as a Ken doll. His name is Sprinkles. Um, and he, you order the boil maker, and he says, Come on right up, chief. Thanks, Sprinkles. <laughs> he goes, and he scurries fucking off. He's like, he's like just standing on the bar, because he's little. <laughs> and he fucking runs over to make you drink. Uh, Shax, what about you? I'm just hanging out by the jukebox, trying to pick a song. What kind of song <laughs> are you looking for? I'm looking for some hard rock. Okay. Uh, CC, God, what is '80s hard rock? Uh, big hair metal bands. Yeah. Um, Pantera. <laughs> oh God. Um, something by Def Leppard. Yeah, uh, you see, you see, you see a Def Leppard album come up on the on the when you turn in the pages of the of the Jukes. <laughs> Jukes. <laughs> I don't know. Like they, they just used to be discs, right? Like, mm. like before they, they were, were like CD little vinyl discs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, yeah, they're records, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah. am I fucking talking about? <clears throat> of course. Um, Jimmy, you're showing your age. I was just like, I haven't, I haven't seen an, an a real Rock one. of Ages from Pyromania <laughs> by Def Leppard. When did Highway to Hell come out? <laughs> oh God, uh, that's a good question. Come on, I have Oh, ACDC, yeah. Ah, there you go. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, it, I mean, that, that it, it's like it's a, it's any time in the eighties we want. So yeah, yeah it's out well, as long as it was <laughs> in the 80s. as long as it wasn't the nineties. Highway to hell. So you put that on Highway yeah. to Hell. All right, it's a song I constantly overplay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hate it. <laughs> um, so you punch that in, and after after the current song ends, Highway to Hell comes on. <laughs> I groan. <laughs> Start mouthing the lyrics as it go along because I know it so well because of this one. Uh, Bjorn, what are you? What are you up to in the bar? I'm ordering a cranberry juice. Okay. Uh, Sprinkles also he scurries off. Just a, a a virgin cranberry, huh? Yeah, I'm, I've got like a kidney issue. <laughs> All right. I'm glad I know. <laughs> Don't know why. Thanks for the what info. What could it be? But it's hard to metabolize the alcohol when you can shape shift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there might be a full moon and can't be a drunk bear. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what kind of shenanigans? <laughs> <laughs> All right, he brings he brings both of your drinks um, at the same time. Are you two sitting next to each other at the bar? Sure. Cool. Um. Do, do we pay sprinkles? I'm... He knows you're good for it. Okay. It's sprinkles. <laughs> sprinkles. With a with a A. <laughs> the sprinkles call in favors for us. <laughs> you owe me! You, you got a running tab. He's not he's not gonna you, you, y'all are are very regular. <laughs> <laughs> I poop all the time. You know that sprinkles. <laughs> That's why this one's asking for cranberry juice. <laughs> what's what's the gossip, Sprinkles? Oh, you know, uh, same old, same old. I hear old, uh, old one eye over there has gotten a fight with the missus. And you see, uh, you see like a, like a, like a human sized cyclops sitting, sitting at a table by himself looking very sad with his one eyebrow. So, you know, he's sad. Um, 
So he's not just a clumsy carpenter. No. He's 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 a <laughs> he's an actual cyclops. <laughs> he's a real one. Uh, but don't tell him I told you. <laughs> Says Sprinkles. I'm gonna walk over and tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do you what do you say? <laughs> Heard the wife kicked you out. <laughs> oh how did you what oh what? <laughs> he like looks up and he's got like he's got like one of, he's got like one big snaggle tooth coming out. Um and he's like pure bald. No no hair was ever on this head. Uh of this no, tiny of this small more. cyclops. <laughs> squeaky squeak. <laughs> but, like, what did what did what did Daphne say? Who did who, who told you? I mean, Daphne did, of course. <laughs> oh, God dang it. <laughs> what, am I, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm so sp- sad. Strong language out of that one. Jeez, dang it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkles is kind of against swearing. We try not to do it around here. Mm. Well, that sounds pretty shitty. <laughs> hey, now. It's real fucked up for a little kid for a little monster bar. <laughs> yeah. You guys, and he puts his little hands on his little hips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Sprinkles! You know we're just fucking with you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> don't make us don't make us sick the werebear on you. <laughs> now, now, no, no, no threats of violence here in in last call. Oh, it won't be violent. <laughs> uh, no, no, we know the rules. We know the rules. Um, at this moment, um, you all hear coming from outside, uh, a a deafeningly loud uh, metal creak like a metal f- <laughs> not like a not like a river <laughs> metal creek uh, sounds great <laughs> <laughs> so a metal creek followed by a loud snap um, and then only the faint sound of running water what do you do I play it cool and I sip my drink and I just slowly turn around Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jovial, that's not holy water right here, is it? Uh, I mean, if it is, I didn't bring it. Good, because you know I hate holy water. No, holy water is like the shittiest mixer. <laughs> you, you got me, Sprinkles? You know what I'm saying? No bubbles. You... <laughs> you, you know what, Chief? But wow, that was... That was... That was... A, a, a mite frightful... Yeah. I jumped to my feet and run outside because my van's parked out there and I'm afraid. <laughs> my van. Your van? <laughs> You're, you got Charlene. A, you've, got a, you've got a van. <laughs> yeah. It's named Charlene. <laughs> Our mystery van. Charlene. <laughs> okay, sure. So I run out of... Because we're doing both these. <laughs> of the inferior pig cafe next door. And... Uh, do you two follow him or... Oh, the sound was. I thought the sound was coming inside. So no, the, the, sound, sound, was outside. the sound happened outside. On okay, the street. okay. That that was why I was like, yeah, slow okay, camera. okay, okay. All right. Uh, in that case, um, yeah, I like. I walk outside and I I, I keep I keep drinking the drink. I, I I don't drop the glass off. <laughs> I run by the bar and grab his cranberry juice <laughs> and shoot it real quick and then run out. <laughs> okay. Um, so the sight that greets you outside uh, is nothing like the three of you have ever seen before. Um, the street is, is pretty full of people who also heard the noise. The, the bar is on Main Street, so, uh, there's a lot of shops and things. Um, so there's a lot of civilians, uh, who came out to investigate the noise. Put on my shades. Yeah. Do you, do you try and, do you just jump right out or? Just throw I mean, a bed sheet over this Like, what, what do you generally do when you're, like, you, do you have, like, a hood to try and cover yourself a little bit or? No, oh, because I'm just in, I'm just in work clothes. You just have a big, big body. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, not, just, that's not terribly much I can do. He's got big. She's big. And mo- I left my pants in his van. He's, <laughs> he's, got, he's got big old, big old everything. Big just flopping old, around. It. <laughs> um. So the thing that the three of you have have not seen before in your entire lives on this earth, the Anytown hot tub has disappeared. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Oh shit! My first date was there. <laughs> I'm horrified, guys. Who would want that is, water? This is <laughs> that horrible stank water. <laughs> this place is a monument. A, mon- a monument to hedonism. 
That's what I like about this place. <laughs> <laughs> it's my kind of monument. <laughs> I think we're going to leave it there. <laughs> I don't know about you boys, but I think one thing's for sure. All hell's going to break loose. <laughs> Did somebody tell you something? Is, is, is do, you, do you know something? Is, I, I googled spoilies and it was there. <laughs> also, Google's a thing. Check it out. It's going to be ex- in 10 years, in, maybe 20. I don't know. Shut up. Invest in it. <laughs> Spend all your Anytown bucks on stocks and shacks. <laughs> invest in me. <laughs> Good investment, I swear. Yeah, so we'll 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 leave it there at the cliffhanger of of, of what this what this adventure is gonna entail. Okay. Cool. So far so good. <laughs> well played. What you guys you guys having we only played for a brief moment, but how are you guys feeling? Uh no, I'm curious to see what finds uh happens out. Um I, I'm enjoying the other characters. This this turned out very good. I am yeah, very happy with I, what y'all have created here. I was not expecting that I was expecting something much more street level. We if this group is anything, okay. it's not street level. <laughs> I consider myself the everyman demon. I, yeah, you are that. Street level. Yeah, very <laughs> s- street level demon. <laughs> Cranberry thieving. <laughs> you left your drink. What What am I supposed Charlene, to do? Charlene, I have priorities, man. Charlene. <laughs> yeah, and I was worried about That's her my too. Home. She's got my only good pair of pants. <laughs> Just shirt cocking. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got... I don't know if we discussed that, but... No, I'm just kind of leaving it up to you guys. It's, it, we didn't discuss it. It speaks for itself. <laughs> I just said no pants, and y'all assumed I had a giant red cock. I mean, you just going to put an eye out with that. That's all I'm saying. Uh, carry well, a rocket launcher, a big sword, and another big sword. <laughs> it's They call it his third leg because his real two legs are very skinny for legs. <laughs> I was but gonna, not for you know, not for dicks though. I was gonna say he has a rocket launcher and also a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 dicks. <laughs> well, cool. Um, so I guess I guess we'll leave it off there. Okay. Uh, for the PJC RPG crew, <laughs> whatever this show's called. It, yeah, the Alphabet Soup Show. Uh, <laughs> I I've been Jimmy. I've been Brian. I've been Kyle. I'm still Colt. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, wasn't that something? <laughs> that really was. Uh, something or other. Um, if you have any would you rathers for us, please feel free. Please. Please. Send them to the PJCcast at gmail.com. Please. Or you can tweet them. Use the hashtag, the PJC cast. We make it real easy for you. Yeah. If you have a half of one, if you're like, oh, I got half, but I don't know the other part. <gasps> We've got a home for them here. We call it Dane's Happy Orphanage for little orphaned halfies. For for five cents a day, you too can make a half feed, of would you rather. Feed a family of halfies. Um... Yeah, so uh, find us online on all the places that you find things that you like. We'll be there. We'll be there. Search the PJC cast. Two two over and three up from the internet porn section. That's right. (laughs) On the the grid of the internet. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're just if right. You, if you know where the internet porn part is, we're right by there. We're just you, right there. You go to your Google image. You go to your Google search, and you type in a P, and it autocorrects porn. You got to say no, 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 no. no, no you no. got to type the J, and still it's like, did you mean porn? You're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you type in PJC cast, and it's porn. Do you do you no, want to no, have no. sex with these three hot tub boys? Because that's what you're gonna do. Rule thirty four, man. Hey, Rule. If it exists, 34. there's porn of it. If somebody is makes rule 34 of us, of yes. us the oh. answer is yes. Send it to the PJC cast. Oh, no. And we'll critique it on the air. 
I mean, I know Stephanie's into fanfic, you heard it but here first. I don't know. If there's Stephanie. porn of us, Jimmy will critique it. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, that'll Thank be you. the special segment. <laughs> James's Porn Corner. James's Porner. Porner. Little James Porner. <laughs> For another week. Sat in his corner jerking off. <laughs> 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 My name's Dane. My name's Brian. I'm Jimmy. And have a good night and get home safe. And remember, if you have a porn corner, make sure you bring lots of tissues or else you're a gross, dirty boy. <laughs> Let's be fair. You're a gross, dirty boy, no matter how many no shaming, you bring. No shaming. Self-love is still love. No amount of tissues is enough. <laughs> and if you ever had your doctor tell you that, that's an awkward moment, isn't it? <laughs> that's a really weird one. That, that happened to me. Did what? That to me? Yes. I had a doctor asking me about my sex partners, and he's like, you know, you... You, you can love yourself, and that can be a sort of relationship. And I was like, <laughs> no. I, no, Doctors I don't. Doctors can't I'm, say that legally. They're not allowed. This. <laughs> Nobody told this one that. Not in this county. Any town county. Oh. I'm never going to the doctor again. <laughs> Based on you. your experiences. They haven't been great. <laughs> Porner. <laughs>